What's up, everyone? Welcome to more Mafia Definitive Edition. I apologize if you hear any dog wrestling in the background because that's what my rowdy dogs like to do. Um, if you're enjoying this series, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. On the last episode, we beat up some uh, gang members' cars and some and some Mafia members, I guess. And yeah, let's continue. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. <laughs> but what did I know? You Tommy? Yeah. Boss is waiting for you. Thanks. Okay, boss is waiting for us. Uh, do I go on back? Okay. Thought I was following him for a second. Gotta meet with Saliari. That way. What's up here, though? Would it be bad if I explored for a second? Can't go in there. Can't go in there. I'm going here though. What's in here? One of my issues with this game so far is the fact that I can't run. I don't like not being able to run. But I guess Mafia people don't run, they just kind of walk around like badasses. There he is. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. Okay. That's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. I'll make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe we'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bill's still due, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some okay. bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Dr. Vincenzo. Well, we can default run, but we can't just run around. Hey, just the guy. I saw this. I thought of you. Ooh, we got our first gun. You ever carry a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <sighs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Good posture, real mean. Now, click, click, click. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay. Now show me a reload. Not at me, you moron. I open the chamber and away you go. All right, last thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. How do I pull it out? Starts. Get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you, it's Vinny. So, how do I pull my gun out? Guess maybe you have to be in danger to pull your gun out. I'm excited I might get to shoot some fools soon though. Look, you guys need to be careful today, okay? Who's gonna make me drive everywhere? 
One year since the crash. The worst panic in Wall Street's peacetime history was one year ago today and still no escape from the wider economic depression that has followed it. Unemployment reached 8% this month, but given the prevailing trend of sh shuttering businesses, I almost said shattering, banks and foreclosed farmsteads, some economists warm, warn that this could be double, perhaps even triple in the coming years. Special feature, picture feature showing scenes from every state. Okay. That's a shiny car. You 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 know how to to, to get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through, reach inside, easy. And an afternoon to f f fix the window back up. Watch. And learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. I'm glad he's being nice to Ralphie. Come on, to Tommy. Show me what you can do. Or bring me something good to work on. Huh? We're in. They made these cars way too shiny in this game. It looks wet. First, we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Nope. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. How do I get out of here? Once again, I apologize if you hear my dogs wrestling. But you know, I love my dogs, so if you dislike it, oh well. Arrived to the first collection. I really hope we get to... Like, I love games with cover-based shooting. Like, think Mass Effect, or... Or, uh... Last of Us has a lot of it. Uncharted. Where you're, like, popping in and out of cover shooting people. I love this old music. Move, lady. Can't you see I'm trying to turn? Can't you see... That you're in the, middle, in the middle of the street. I can skip drive. Okay, this is I just it. saw a skip drive. Did you guys see that? Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Okay. Go teach him a thing or two, you know? Oh, you want me to go in? Even though you told me to follow your lead. Sam, Holly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Da, dear Mr. Bertarelli, this letter is notification that you are in default of your obligation to make payments on your agreed loan. This amount has been overdue since July 15th, 1930. You have ignored requests to pay this debt. Unless the full amount is received within two weeks, I will have no choice but to instruct this bank to begin the foreclosure process on your home and business. Please act accordingly. Christopher Marcino. Excuse me, I have a hiccup. Manager, Grand Imperial Bank. So little now, she's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. That's well, good to hear, Al. Real good. Uh, you guys gonna do anything? What's going on? What is? I'm so confused. Are you stuck because I wasn't supposed to go in first? Goodness gracious, he was stuck on the door this whole time. Now you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. Oh, Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. 
It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia without pain? You gonna take all day, Tommy? We got places we need to be. Ooh, got a card. Nice. Where's the money? Ron, fetch up. Roche sukiate sangue. It's on the table, brown envelope. What table? Oh, on the table. He said under the table, did he not? I got it. See you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your mom, huh? All right, we got our payment. I bet it's not enough, but oh well. Let's get going. I can skip drives though. I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna use that sometimes. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Bet you something bad's gonna He's happen. Doing this door on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and needs to let it out on his own. She's gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. That didn't sound good. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, the guy ended up in a wheelchair. Should we uh help Polly or Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week with some extra besides. He doing okay. okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much uh, Nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? You get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kinda not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly? We've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little I think he got you. Out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. The brakes on these cars are so bad. I out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. So pretty. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. 
Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. I guess that's why you wouldn't want to Anyone skip drives because you miss all this talking. Sidewalks. You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. But happy to oblige. I like the outdoors, but not all the time. I bet these cars have really bad. Okay, there it is. Like if you get in a wreck, you are not surviving. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Okay. What are you gonna do? From here on out, this place is ours. Capish? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. <sighs> get Sam. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Huh. Find a way into the motel. How are we gonna do this? Oh, we got, we're sneaking? Go out this way. No. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there you go. You done, boy. Uh, somebody this way? How do you hide behind stuff? Haha! <laughs> they kind of keep coming up here for me. How many are there? It's in here. This is what I've been waiting for in this game. Skip a room? Yes. Ooh, what's that? Got a shotgun now, heck yeah. Can switch guns, nice. I can't remember. What's this? There we go. Shotgun ammo. I think I might. S I have grenades? What the heck? Did I drop the shotgun for that? No, I did not. I can hold all this stuff? Oh, 
There we go. Am I wasting bullets every time I reload like that? Nothing in there. A trust figure in Lost Heaven. Owner of boatyards and industry. Employer of 2000s. Friend of the city. Dutiful father and husband. Though he was running for some kind of office. where Sam is. Yeah, so I'm not gonna go that way just yet. I want to see what's over here first. Okay. Apparently nothing's over here. This front door. Yep. on you, buddy. Christ. Come on. You'd be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, shit. He's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. Ah, uh, I don't want to chase him. Catch the thug and get the money. Do I have to shoot? Am I wasting on- oh, it's unlimited. I thought I was using up all my own ammo, so I was like, what the heck. Switch to my shotgun. Give me the money, that sir. Was when I saw the cost, what it meant to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. That was a good chapter. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.